Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Libra. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Libra, it looks like um, somebody is definitely aware of how they mistreated you. Okay, or they, they're they aware of um, all of the stuff that they've done to you or done in a connection. They're asking for your forgiveness here. They want a reunion with you because of the loyalty, the trust, um, the endurance and the connection. They didn't see that you were a gift or vice versa. This is you, Libra. You couldn't see that someone was a gift. Now you want to come back to them. You, you understand that what they were giving to you was unconditional. It could have been unconditional love, care, devotion, dedication. Um, it was without condition. You just had to show up and be you. Now you see this person winning or they see you winning, Libra. They see you on your platform getting a lot of attention. Um, maybe you're engaged in dance, drama, theater. They just see you putting yourself out there, um, maybe in the public's eye here. This person could be engaged with an energy that is younger, uncaring, not serious about connections and relationships. And they're in direct opposition or comparison, competition with you, Libra, the beauty queen, okay? Um, this is also a man wanting two women because we have somebody here saying, you know, um, I want more than one person. What do I do? So they want this, this young, uncaring, free spirit here who they don't have to do much for. And then they also want the beauty queen uh, who's always winning, shining, getting uh, lots of attention here. So it's like they, um, they want two different people, two very different people with the comparison card coming up also. Um, this person could be saying, look, me coming, going out there and talking to this person was short term. It was short lived. It was for me to realize what was what was real, what was true for me to listen to my intuition about who and what I wanted to be faithful to or who was faithful to me, who was loyal, dedicated, giving unconditional love, care to me. So it's like somebody wants to have a reunion with you because they see that in you and they want your forgiveness. Okay. And they want you to know that they've never known a love like this before. The one that you give to them and the one that they have for you, they've never known this. They do want more than one person. And maybe that could have been the cause of the breakdown and the connection. But someone wants to tell you that, look, your ex is about to catch a beat down. Whoever is in the picture is about to catch these hands because this person is willing to fight for you. They almost feel as if they are running out of time. OK, they don't of how to come back to you, how to restore this relationship. They're kicking themselves because they didn't they weren't wise in their decision making. They weren't like the old woman in their decision making they didn't have wisdom um they chose what was easy what was maybe fun uh, uncaring uh, no strings attached but it was in direct opposition to what it is their soul wanted what they needed on the soul level and it was short term and it's going to be short-lived if it hasn't already ended um so I want to say, look, you think you're so mature, but you aren't. And it could be this energy that they're dealing with. Or someone could be saying this to you, Libra, like, you think you're so mature, but you aren't. Um, it's like somebody doesn't like the the move that you've made, the, the turn that you've made, the turn away from maybe this connection. So they're questioning your level of maturity. Uh, maybe you aren't... Uh, super dedicated um, loyal to this person anymore because you know it was getting you nowhere um, and this person thought like you would never leave them okay um, 
it looks like you got busy with hobbies you monetized a hobby or you just got busy with your hobbies you were no longer focused on this person it's like a new lease on life you started to really bask in your independence and put yourself first and do for you and be concerned with you uh, because you knew that there was another woman and there was too much gossip here about what this other person was doing and they had lack of control of over their sexual urges over the flirting over the flirtation yeah flirtatious energy over the um just over themselves altogether okay and now they're waiting for communication from you but it looks like they would have to do the communicating or someone's going to have to build the the bridge okay to uh come back to you support is here this person could support you financially or the, you went and got support help uh, to get over this person this person needs support they need to go talk to someone about uh their urges about their personality their characteristic yeah the characteristics uh the personality traits the cards want you to know that um Libra, fall in love when you are ready and not when you're lonely, okay? Do know that it's going to, and, and for you on the adverse, there is time. Don't think time is running out for you, that you're the old woman and it won't happen for you. Don't fall in love while you're lonely. Fall in love when you're ready um, and when you have the right person before you, okay? All right. And do know that maybe this um, time, this time, this period of loneliness or being without is just short term. It's for you to really recognize um, that you are a gift to anyone, to any situation, okay? All right. So this is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee link. Thank you, Libra. Many blessings to you.